What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome to Throwback Thursday. This is a series on my channel that I started as a way to get some use out of the older eyeshadow palettes in my collection. So the way this works is every Sunday I post a bonus video here on my channel with the footage of me going through my entire collection and pulling four palettes that y'all will have to choose from. From there I post a poll over my community section with the names and pictures of each of the palettes. I give y'all a few days to vote and that brings us to today. Now since it is October we are playing with spooky themed palettes the entire month. We have already gotten to play with Strange and Unusual from Bella Beauty Bar and this week's winner is going to be the Devour palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This one is so beautiful. I find the color story in here to be very intriguing with these beautiful greens down here and then we have these pops of like burgundy wine purple shades but this shade right here trap the most beautiful shade in this entire palette and we are 100% going to play with this one today. Now, I did forget to include this one in my spooky palettes ranking. You know that if you watched my palette choosing video and I was really disappointed and mad at myself, but I'm so happy that we get to play with this palette today and show it some love and create a beautiful look. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom y'all in just a smidge, prime my eyes, and we're gonna get into creating this look. All right, so my lid is primed with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Let's go ahead and dive into this palette. So kind of what I'm thinking is focusing these green shades more on the inner portion of my lid, and then maybe this red with a little bit of this one kind of blown out on the outer corner. I haven't fully decided lower lash line and shimmer. I know I want to utilize the shade Trap, but we're just going to kind of figure it out as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade right here. This one is called Snap. It is like the prettiest like slime green shade it's absolutely gorgeous so i am going to go ahead and pick that one up with let's do this brush we're going to go in with a bk beauty 211 and i'm going to start to focus this one on my inner corner and i am going to kind of bring it up into my crease and down onto my lower lash line just a little bit really focusing it on that inner portion of my lid making this like our pop of color on the inner corner all right, so once I have that shade down, I'm going back in with that same brush and no extra product, and I'm just kind of buffing along the edges and really blowing out this shade. I've seen a lot of people doing very blown out looks lately, things that don't have like a full on defined shape to them, and I just thought it was so pretty, and I thought it would be really fun to kind of test that out with this palette today, because it does have a lot of deeper shades in it, which can be very intimidating when you have a fair skin tone, but I wanted to see if I could just take these shades and just really kind of blow them out and kind of fade them into the rest of my makeup. All right, so next I'm gonna go into the shade right here called Devour. It's this really pretty rich like wine red shade, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a BK Beauty 212 brush and I'm gonna go in very lightly handed and I am just going to do very light buffing motions out here. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I don't want to pull the full opacity of this shade. I just wanna kinda of give a light wash of color out here. Just like I did with that outer corner or the inner corner, I want it to fade into my blush out here, just giving a really cool blown out effect. All right, so I'm gonna take that same shade down onto the lower lash line as well, just kind of lining it up with what I did on the lid. But again, I'm just kind of blowing it out. I'm not keeping it really precise. I'm not packing on the shade or anything. I just wanna have that light wash of color. All right, so this is what we're looking like. I think we're pretty even. I always have a hard time kind of matching up my left eye to my right eye just because I'm right-handed, but that's not too bad. I'm loving the way this is looking, but we need to fill in this little gap right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna go in with this really pretty like forest green shade. This one is called Prey. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to pick that up with this brush right here. This is a BK Beauty 203. And what I wanna do is I wanna go in very, very lightly and sort of tap that shade between the two colors that I have down and just kind of connect them fill in that little gap I don't want this to take over I don't want it to be the star of the show so once I have it tapped on I'm gonna go back and again I'm gonna start to buff out that shade and kind of blend everything together 
All right, so I'm just going back in with that shade Devour and I'm just kind of buffing it right up next to that green shade that I just put down just because I feel like that green started to kind of take over a little bit and I don't want that shade to be the star of the show. I really just want it to be a bridge shade from this bright neon green into this sort of wine shade. So I'm not picking up a whole lot of product and I am just kind of tapping and buffing so everything blends but i think that's looking really pretty this is definitely something different for me but so far i'm really enjoying the way this is turning out all right let's go ahead and pop a shimmer all over the lid i know i still have this little space on my lower lash line to deal with but i think i want to kind of come back to that so i'm going to go ahead and start with this shade right here this one is called ravage now i have already gone ahead and primed my eye with my nyx glitter primer per usual and i'm going to go ahead and apply this one with a brush since i have these long nails on and i kind of want to do something a little more precise with this than just kind of packing it on the lid so i'm going to go ahead and pick it up with a bk beauty 206 brush I am still going to spray this with some Mac Fix Plus just so it kind of sticks to the brush a little bit better and I can avoid any fallout. But I went ahead and picked it up. Let's get this out. And we're going to start by packing this all over the lid. I'm going to bring it over to the outer corner and I'm going to bring it all the way over to the inner corner, sort of bumping it up to that green shade. But look at how pretty that is. Just nice and reflective. These like sort of deeper shades in this palette. They don't have any like flips or anything like that to them. That's all gonna come from the beautiful like iridescent topper shades in here, but that looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna go back with the tip of my brush and I'm just gonna go in to like the socket of my lid and just kind of blend everything together. And then I'm gonna go back with the clean side and sort of buff everything out, blending it into those matte shades. All right, so next for the center of the lower lash line, I think we're gonna go into this green shimmer shade over here. This one is called Instinct. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up with a Singe Beauty EO4 brush. I just wanted something a little bit more dense, but I didn't want anything flat or like a true smudger brush, just so I can get down there pretty good. Cause I do wanna go in kind of precise, but I also wanna kind of have a little bit more like a whimsical feel with this shimmer on the lower lash line, if you catch what I'm throwing down. But again, I'm going to spray Spray that with some Mac Fix Plus and I'm going to go and just kind of buff it right in between those two matte shades and once I have it buffed on there like really good I can go back and sort of disperse it a little bit better but I think that's a lot of fun I like the way that this is turning out all right, so last but not least, we're gonna go in with this beautiful shade right here called Trap. I don't know if y'all can see all of the flips that it has, but it's like this really pretty, like gold to lime green iridescent shade. My absolute favorite in this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up with that same BK Beauty 203 brush. I just make sure that I kind of cleaned it off really, really well. I am once again going to spray this with some Mac Fix Plus. I do that with all of my shimmers when I pick them up, whether it's um, for my inner corner or all over, just because I don't want to get a lot of fallout so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and what I want to do is I kind of want to start by putting this on the inner corner and then I want to take it and sort of disperse it onto the rest of my lid kind of giving this really pretty topper effect kind of blending everything together that is so incredibly cool I love this look all right, so before I finish off this look with liner and mascara, I think I wanna deepen up this outer corner just the slightest little bit. I hadn't planned on doing it, but once I got all those shimmers on, I feel like it would really benefit from just the tiniest bit of depth out here. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Carnivore. It's this really pretty like ready brown maroon shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up with a Singe Beauty EO5 brush. And I am very lightly just gonna to start to tap this into my outer corner. Normally I do this before I do all of my shimmer so if I need to go back I absolutely will but I'm not taking it over far enough so it shouldn't like interfere with all of that but you see how that's adding just the tiniest bit of depth out there and it really kind of ties in at those deeper shimmers onto the lid that's what I was looking for I'm also going to take that onto the very outer corner of my lower lash line again just kind of pressing it out here I'm not taking it over very far and once I had that shade down and where I want it I can sort of buff it out and start to blend it into the rest of the look yeah that's what I wanted
All right, y'all, so this is the completed look with this palette, and I am absolutely obsessed with the way that this turned out. I love the color combination. I love that sort of blown out technique that I did. I think it is so pretty, so fun, and this look has made me fall in love with this palette. I already knew that I liked it before, but I always found it to be a little intimidating when I looked at the color story, just because of the color combinations that you could get, but this... I love it. If I had to redo my spooky palette ranking and actually include this one for a change, no doubt would this one be top five, maybe even top three, because I love it that much. But let me show you what I used to finish up this look so we can kind of turn the lights down and show you all these shifts and the sparkles to this look, and then we'll close out this video. So in my lower waterline, I actually went in with an LA Girl Pastel Liner. This one is in the shade Magic Mint, and then I lined my lid with my ZC Liquid Liner and finished everything off with my Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerized Mascara. All right, y'all, so that is going to complete this week's Throwback Thursday video with the Unearthly Cosmetics Devour Palette. I cannot get over how absolutely beautiful this look turned out. It is by far my favorite of spooky season so far this year. But let me know all of your thoughts down below. Do you have this palette? Which one did you vote for? What did you think of the look? I want to know it all. Let's have that conversation. Light up that comment section. And as usual, I want to thank you all so, so much for watching my video and spending your time with me. It truly does mean so, so much to me. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss one. Until my next video, have a good one. Bye.